13. No change. The radio still urges any survivors to stay safe and stay hopeful. A message that would be a lot more helpful if it wasn't recording by a guy who died four months ago. I still miss her. It never gets any better. I guess it never will either. Sitting here, and waiting. Waiting for nothing. Oh, easy there, buddy. I'm no raider. At least not you, anyway. Sorry, Chase. All right, well, taking a look at the old map here. This bridge here, finally went. So that means we're going to have to go around by the old mill if we want to get back into town. And raiders have now taken over this market here. So I had to sneak around back in order to get any goods without being caught. Normally, I would take them on myself, but I didn't feel like it today. What did you get for food? I'm glad you asked. I took the liberty of labeling them all myself. 
How do you, how do you know what's in them? Oh, I have no idea, but that's the fun, right? Oh, and I also stumbled upon a little magic potion. And, of course, a little extra treat for myself. Mm. You gonna smoke that thing? Eh, I think I'm gonna save it for a special occasion. So, Thompson. You doing all right, man? I heard you mumbling again in your sleep last night. Yeah, I uh, woke myself up doing that. She was the only thing I had left. And she was in Witherfall the night this shitstorm happened. Hmm. Shitstorm. As good a word as any. Kind of makes you feel special though, doesn't it? To survive something that wiped out nearly all of mankind? Worldwide nuclear warfare? 80% of the planet destroyed? But not us, man. Nope. Not you and me. We're alive. We're survivors. And that is an achievement. And that is a story I want to tell my grandkids. You're not going to have grandkids, Chase. You're not going to have grandkids. You're not going to have a wife. You may not even have a next meal. You know, we've been holed up in this place for seven months. Stealing food and weapons from wherever we can. Waiting for God knows what to happen. What makes you think tomorrow is going to be any different? Because the radio is right, you know? There is always hope. I understand I'll probably die out here. I get that. Fine. But I refuse to just let it drive me mad. I refuse to give up hope. And I refuse to stop fighting. Because the minute you stop fighting, you're dead. And I know you probably don't care about that. But I do. Besides, you never know, right? So let's have a drink. And try not to worry so much. Stuff will make you feel better now, but tomorrow you're probably gonna hate yourself. <coughs> oh. oh god. You could probably run a car on this. Wow. Oh. Chase found some whiskey today. Hope it makes tonight more bearable. <laughs> oh well. Another day in paradise. December 7th, 2023. Michael Thompson. Just be careful. Oh well. So how long do you think you'll be gone? I wouldn't say more than a week. They were up the new building and big boss man wants everyone there for the ribbon cutting, so you know that goes, but is he gonna miss me while I'm gone? Meh. What about you? Are you gonna miss me? <laughs> wow. Glad that no one needed around here. Of course I'm going to miss you. I'll miss you too. I love you. I love you too. I gotta go.
Jason and I moved on to a new place today. He says it's to throw off anyone who might be tailing us, but I don't see the point. The place is an old storm shelter in the basement of an abandoned railroad station. Who knows? Maybe it's a place we can finally call home. At least for a week or so, anyway. Sleep any better last night? Take that as a no. You know, I like this place. I think we got a good thing here. I think we can stay here for a while. It's safe, out of the way, desolate. I mean, there's a lot of dead bugs on the ground here, but I think we can get through it. Stock up on some supplies, get healthy again. I think we're gonna be okay, right? I gotta go cover up my tracks. So, some breakfast on the cinder block there. Maybe you'll get lucky and get something good. I'll be right back. Yeah, it was funny, but I did kind of feel bad for the guy. I mean, he had these scissors that were absolutely worthless, and he tried to cut the ribbon about four times, and <laughs> nothing happened. The press was there, everything. But uh, well, anyway, how's everything going at home? Everything's okay. Uh, I think Bianca is still distraught over your absence, but... Uh, well, tell her I miss her, too. <laughs> and? Seriously, I can't wait to see you. Michelle?
Chase? Thompson. What happened? I don't know. What the hell happened to me? Oh, shit. I think I got hit by something. Oh, shit. Ah. Easy. I got one of them. They got away, but they're gonna come right back. We gotta get out of here. We can't stay here. Thompson, we can fight them off. We we gotta stay. We're leaving, all right? No, we, we have to go, Thompson, Chase. we got a good thing here. We can stay here, we can fight. We Chase. can protect this place, Thompson. Chase, we have to leave go. It. No, we have to go. Come Stop. on, let's go. Let's get up. Let's go. Ah, come on. Ah. Ah. Do we have everything? Wait, wait, we need the whiskey. Get the, get the whiskey first. All right, you ready? Sure. Might as well get it over with. <sighs> yeah, so we're gonna need to go in the Witherfall tomorrow. I really don't like our chances there, but we gotta get something else for your shoulder besides that dumb whiskey you've been drinking. The radiation could kill us within the day. Thompson, do you really think we can find all that stuff? I mean, I don't know Witherfall at all, but, you know, I'm pretty sure all those supermarkets have been pillaged and plundered already. Well, I figured we'd try the, uh, the market near Light Street. It was a smaller, family-run place. Hopefully the Raiders haven't gotten to it yet. There you go. It's a souvenir. Oh boy. I shall treasure it forever, Thompson. Thank you. Well, Witherfall should be just a blasty blast. I've been wanting to check out Ground Zero for some time now. Yeah, well, like I said, I really don't like our chances there, but I really don't see what other choice we have. Eh, yeah, we'll be fine. I'll be fine. I've always been fine. There's a lot you don't know about me, Thompson. A lot you don't know. Sir, what is this? Those are orders, Sergeant. 
Were you absent that day in basic? I understand that, but they can't be right, can they? Can they, sir? Sir. This is a matter of national security. I don't like it any more than you do. Permission to speak freely. Negative. I do whatever I can for this country. And I expect that my men do the same. As long as you are under my command, you will do as this company sees fit. You have your orders. I got one, I got one. Uh, second week of deployment, your village girl, back of the home V. You are a dirty bastard, you know that? Ah, uh, you know. I was one of those exotic treats for her, you know. Got another one. It's one time at the base. Hey, anybody home? North. Oh yeah, what? What be you saying? Something up. No, it's just a major. You ever feel like maybe we're not on the right side here? What do you mean? Well, I got my orders from the major today and it, it just seems like, I don't know, it just seems like maybe we're not the good guys anymore, you know? Never thought about it. Figure if the guy's ranked above me, he is what he's doing. Yeah, well. It just. It just seems like my orders are going against everything I was taught as a child. What are they? You guys know it's like 11 in the morning, right? I mean, I know Army's got to be rough for you guys, but it can't be all that difficult. Yeah, who the hell are you? Owner of the bar, maybe? I don't know. Just kind of my call whether or not you guys come or go or stay or leave or whatnot. You always chase customers? Like that? Is that how you handle business? Yeah, usually. I mean, I got <laughs> You know, all of this makes me think of my mother. When I was little, shit would happen. My mom, she would just sing to me. And somehow it would make me feel a lot better. I don't know why, it just, it was like nothing really mattered. Like tomorrow would be just another day. So what, you want to sing now? Dashing through the snow on a one-horse open sleigh. I know you know the words. Jingle bells, man. It's a Christmas song. How do you figure? Uh, because... Nowhere in that song is there any mention of Christmas or Santa Claus or Jesus or any other kind of holiday. It's a winter song. I know you know that song, Thompson. Don't be afraid to sing along. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride on a one-horse open sleigh. Hey, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride on a one-horse open sleigh.
Uh, I really hope we're not lost. That would be counterproductive, Thompson. We're not lost, man. Are you sure we're not lost? Because it kind of feels like it about now. Just relax. We'll be there soon. We've been walking the same trail for two hours. I think we're lost. If we're lost, just admit it. We're lost. I'm not going to get mad at you. Just say we're lost if we're lost. Well, I'm not going to admit it because we're not lost. <laughs> Doesn't snow here. The atmosphere is too scorched this close to ground zero. I'm getting close. cliffs today. I'm not sure how I feel about going into the belly of the beast like this. It can't be any worse than sitting around and watching the earth crumble around you. Chase seems a little distant lately. Maybe his shoulder's hurting him. Oh well. Have hope, I guess. Thompson, relax your shoulders. You're not choking your chicken, all right? Relax your shoulders and exhale before you shoot. What you reading there? The New York Stock Exchange. I always want to invest in this stuff, but I don't have a damn clue what any of it means. That's because you're reading it upside down, dude. <laughs> well, I mean, there's so many numbers and stuff. I mean, do you know what any of this stuff means? B-E, P-P-E. You're a businessman, right, Thompson? You know what this stuff means, right? Uh, a little bit. Yeah? What'd you yeah. invest in? Whiskers? Nine lives? Friskies? <laughs> no, no friskies. I guess it doesn't mean anything now. None of this means anything. This paper's useless. It's all useless. When's this paper from, anyway? July 18th, 2010. 
Do you remember what you were doing on July 18th, 2010? Now, speaking of investments, you know what I'd like to invest in? A good shower. <laughs> yeah. Can't tell you the last time I had some clean water on my body. Uh, I don't think that's going to be anytime soon anyway. Unless we find a non-nuclear water supply. Yeah, keep it as a memento for yourself. I think I will. Or toilet paper for later, so. You can share if you want. I'll save you a little sliver. Thanks. Might as well just use these blades of grass. <laughs>
What the hell was that? Me? Why didn't you just run? You almost got us killed. Because they would have caught us, that's why. Look at us now. Did they catch us? Did they catch us? I didn't plan on stumbling across the truck, did you? No, I didn't. You ran. You can't always run from shit, Thompson. You ran today. You ran away from the shit. Those shelter. raiders would have been back within a day. You don't know that. And even if they did, so what? We just fight them off again. You have to be more optimistic out here, Thompson. Optimism and a quick trigger. That's how you stay alive. See that? Optimism. Luck. Now come on, we gotta get some stuff for your shoulder and get the hell out of here before we die of radiation poisoning.
seriously, I, I can't wait to see you. Michelle? I stayed there for almost a week. No food, nothing. And then a group of survivors from the north came into what was left of our house and found me. I told them that I was a nurse and I could help them. So they agreed to take me along with them. They immunized me and I've been traveling with them ever since. Immunize, what do you mean immunize? Against the radiation. There's a certain virus that counteracts the effects of the high rods on the body. I gave it to you guys while you were knocked out. As long as you don't fall asleep in the crater, I think you'll be okay. I... I just can't even believe that you survived. <laughs> what about Bianca? <laughs> oh my god, you little bitch! <laughs> Your wife comes back from the dead, and all you can talk about is your friggin' cat. Are you kidding me? Sorry. Well, why did you knock me out anyway? You said you'd be home in a week. I joined the military to do some good in this world. To do some good and to prevent some bad. I figured it'd be the best place for me to make that distinction. A distinction we're taught from the day we're born. Good and bad. Right and wrong. Sometimes, you spend so much time looking for evil in all the normal places that you forget to check the other places too. That's when the distinction begins to blur. If there's one thing I've learned in the military, it's that good and evil don't exist. Thanks again for patching Chase up. He was in really bad shape. Sure. You know, nearly every night since all this happened, I've been writing in a journal. I write about what happened that day, and what Chase was trying to cook up for dinner. And I wrote about you. I've pretty much given up. It's pretty much the only thing that could keep me sane. Sometimes that didn't even work. And then, you know, we came here today and 
we're looking around and I find this journal with a pen. Day 215. I finally found Michael yesterday. I had to lead the others away from his camp, and I had to do it without crying my eyes out. I was so happy. Hopefully, I can trap him and his friend so I can show myself without being killed. If I can't, I'm not sure what I'll do. Arm still hurts. How ironic. September 9th, 2023. Michelle Thompson. Arm still hurts? Ironic? What is what happened? I sh I shot you? Hey, it's it's okay. It's all right. This place, it changes things. It turns people against each other. People that normally would be friends. Family. You know, I've heard you talk about her forever and uh, all the stories you tell me about her, but uh, she's actually pretty sexy. Chase isn't. I like to know the names of the people I blow kneecaps off of. <laughs> See what I mean? Yeah, hey, uh, so listen, about yesterday. Don't worry about it, man. I, I know the radiation does crazy stuff to you. Forget it. Uh, it wasn't just that, though. You know, you've taught me a lot out here. And I, no, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Hey, forget it, okay? We're human. I understand. Enough said. No. I mean, you're right. You never do know. So how many of those raiders do you think we got yesterday? I don't know. We booked out of there before I had a chance to count, so... Raiders? When was this? Yesterday, before we came here and before you knocked us out. Shit. Now they're gonna come here. Who? My group. My old group. Where do you think I got all this stuff from? Vaccines, bandages, weapons, everything that's like gold out here. Once I realized that you were alive, I stole it from them and... I was hoping that they wouldn't come after me, but now that you guys pissed them off... Oh. So wait, now it's our fault. I am just saying that we need to get out of here. They're probably on their way and they're gonna be here soon. How many? Enough. More than us. So what do we do now? I know this place. A place where I used to go with my old group. Well, that doesn't seem like the best idea. It's abandoned, okay? They probably left some things that we can gather. Maybe we can use to our advantage. All right. Lead the way, Mrs. Thompson. So you really think we can trust her? Yeah, I mean, she's my wife. <laughs> yeah, I guess she was your wife, and she still is, but well, people change out here. Well, I still love her, and I'm going to go with that. All right, I'll take your word for it. So how'd you get that truck running anyway? <laughs> Found a use for that whiskey. Wow. <laughs> Told you it was gonna come in handy. For wounds, for drinking, and for running a truck off of.
Launcher, Citadella. Find Adam. Thompson. Thompson. Take a look at this. I think I found something. Like if you guys, Uncle Chase, found us a good old map. So we're gonna set up our point of attack right here. Now, if things go to hell, we're gonna meet back at the truck, okay? okay? Nothing should go wrong, hopefully, if this plan works. Um, now, you said there's a medic back in Witherfall somewhere, is that right? Yeah. Can you take us there? Mm hmm Well, if you guys need to leave without me, just leave without me. Don't wait around for me. Don't risk your lives for mine. Are you okay with your part in all this? Yeah. Are you okay with her part in all this? Yeah. Are you sure? There's no backing out now. Alright. Let's do it. Mary Thompson? Apparently, the group still uses this base. Since they know me, it's my job to be the bait when they get here. Michael's lucky I like him so much, otherwise I'd never be fighting the people who rescued me.
You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Come on, let's go. Is she okay? She's gonna be fine, I just gotta take her. Well, we gotta get her somewhere quick. You guys should take off without me. No, we're not leaving without you, Chase. I'll be fine. No. I can take care of this. No, Chase, I'm not leaving you behind. I got this, it's fine. Get the hell out of here, I'll be fine, I'll be right behind you. There's another raider coming, I'll take care of him. Chase, we are not leaving without you. You want her to live? Yeah, but I want you to live too, you gotta come with us. I'll take care of this, okay? I'll be right behind you. I'll be fine. Get out of here. Whatever happened to you, never know. Whatever happened to optimism? Sometimes you know, right? I got this. I'm gonna be fine. You take care of her. I'll be right behind you. We'll be waiting for you. Took you long enough. Did you bring it? Yeah, I got it. Okay. <sighs> They're headed to the bridge. Do you want me to take care of it? No. I told you before. You want me to go after him? It's mine. Go easy on him, all right? 